This is a lecture from Open Tuition. To benefit from the lecture, you should download the free lecture notes from OpenTuition.com. So let's rediscuss the current year period relief. So it would be set against total profits before QCDs in the period in which the loss arose for claim, no partial claim, and the claim must be made within two years. So let's have a look at a, a simple example just to go through those rules again. If we had a pro forma here for the 31st of March 24, so we would have nil, we would have 20,000, we would have a gain, okay, which would give us 70,000, all or nothing claim, got to put all the 45 in, which gives us down to 25, that's the QCD, gives us um, 10. You could see that being a simple multiple choice kind of question, can't you? Um, show how the current relief would be obtained. Maybe it'd be different than that. Um, the wording um, would, yeah, it would be different than that. It might ask you what the um, the taxable profits are at the end of the day. Um, and you could just basically add all of those together. And don't forget, that's got a bracket. So it would be 70 less uh, 60, which is 10. Um, so if that comes up as a multiple choice question, that's kind of fairly straightforward. Okay. We then discussed the fact that you could actually carry back that loss, but you must first do a current year claim, and then only what's left of those losses can be carried back against total profits before QCDs. Now, 12 months back, okay? And again, all or nothing claim. Partial claims, for example, to leave sufficient profit to cover the QCDs are not allowed. Not allowed. Um, and again, a claim within two years. Now, if you get a question like example four, that has a year and then a year and then a year, that's fairly straightforward. However, we're going to look at in a minute short accounting periods. I'm going to show you this one now where this is the current year and this is only nine months now the rule says you can carry back 12 which means three twelfths of this ttp can also be relieved so that's what we mean by 12 months just so you're aware so the preceding 12 months you'll either get a nice question like that where they are all years, or you might get a partial one where you've got a nine month or a six month or a three month or, or something along those lines. So let's have a look at example number four, where A Limited produced the following results. We've got a profit in 22, a profit in 23, and a massive loss in 24, and interest receivable in all three years of £10,000 show how the loss relief would be claimed assuming that relief is taken as soon as possible okay now i'm not going to show you the model answer i'm just going to do some notes here so when i've done the notes what i'd like you to do then is to pause the recording and look at the model answer because there's no point writing it all out because i'm going to explain it here um, if you if you're not sure watch this section again but I'm working now on the grounds that if we're in chapter 17, that you are getting more and more aware of how tax works. So I am assuming that you are um, improving in your abilities to do tax. I have confidence in your abilities. So I'm just going to show you. So it says here that we could do a current year claim. And obviously you would need to set up the pro forma. So it looked like this. Set up the loss memorandum with the 90,000. A current year claim means that 90,000, I'm going to write it over here, we've used 10,000 of it to do a current year claim. Okay, and we've wiped that out and we pay no tax. Okay, which means we have 80,000 and we have to do a current year claim 
in order to be able to do a carry back claim. If we carried it back, we could utilize 70,000 of it there to bring that down to nil. So this is our lost memorandum, so I've got 10 left. Do not be tempted, if all these are years, to do any more carry back. You can only go back, carry back 12 months. Be very careful with that. So what happens to this? That is carried forward and will be used in 2025. So explain that to the examiner on your lost memorandum when you've finished. Explain that the 10,000 can be carried forward to be used against total profits in future years, 2025 and onwards. Show every working that you have done in that simple um, computation there. So you can see how I've done it there. I could do with you pausing it now and going looking at the model answer to see how it would be laid out in full. But I think you're getting the idea now that it's a lot of this is a copying exercise. So do it carefully. Take your time. Be logical. Losses are not the easiest thing in the world. There are lots of rules that you have to learn. But if you do a slow, methodical approach, you will get full marks for this. Now, let's have a look at what a short accounting period might do. So a trade loss is carried back against profits for 12 months. So I think I've said that half a dozen times now. I think you understand. If the accounting period preceding the period of loss is short, you can still carry back. Guess how many months? 12. Last in, first out. And the profits of the earlier period are time apportioned. Now, the length of the loss making period is not important. Full relief is given against current year. The remaining is carried back. So if in your period of loss, it's only nine months, that doesn't matter. Do a current year, carry back 12 months. So let's have a look at example number five. And let's deal with that. So there we have a year ended March 23. We made a profit, we had bank interest, we had a capital loss and we had QCDs. Nine months to December 23, we had a profit, we had some income, we had some gains and a QCD. In the year to December 24, we had a loss, some bank interest, no gains and a QCD. That is obviously going to be set off against that. So let's draw this out this time because I want you to see how this works. Set it up properly. So the year ended and it was the 31st of March 23. The period end, which is nine months to the 31st of December 23. And then the year end to the 31st of December 24. Trade profits. We have profits. We have profits. We made a loss. We had interest of 3,000 and 1,000 and 1,000 going to get half a mark for that row. Gains. We have nil. And this would be a working because I want you to show it in full. And then we would carry that forward. And we have nothing in there. So that's our total income. 28,000. 26,000. And 1,000. Leave a gap for losses. And then down here, QCDs. Then she performer off. Nice and neat. 
Okay, so working number one would explain the game position. Um, and then we have a lost memorandum. So in our lost memorandum, we have the year two, 31st of December 24. We had a loss of 40,000. In order to do a carry back claim, we have to do a current year claim in full, all or nothing against total profits leaving us with 39,000. So that would go in their current year claim, all or nothing, that would then be wasted. Okay, so we're going to do a carry back claim to the nine months to the 31st of December 23, which would be a claim for, so carry back, which would be a claim for 26, which would also bring that down to nil. So I'm going to take 26 off that, which leaves me with 13. And then we're going to carry back another three months to the 31st of March 23. So that would be 28,000 is the total for that year times three twelfths. So the maximum we can have there is seven, which means the balance of six needs to be carried forward. And seven would go in there. In this 21. And obviously the QCD brings us to that point.